have in the room, we're all coming here with a common interest. We are people who need care and support, people who provide care to others. So today we're gathered to kick off Seattle's efforts as a part of the National Caring Across Generations campaign. Woo! Every eight seconds, a baby boomer uh, becomes um, a senior citizen. And there's going to be a huge influx of seniors in the next few years. And um, they're going to need care. You don't plan to get sick. It just happens. My husband is paralyzed. And um, he had a stroke in 2009. I do the work, most of the work. My caregiver comes in like uh, four hours a day for five days. And then he's gone all the weekend and they start back. So that leaves the whole care for me. And uh, so I'm doing work just like anybody else, but I'm not getting supported for it. There are many people in Congress and in Wall Street who tell us that our country is in a debt crisis. They say that there's no money and that what we need to be doing is cutting our social programs. But the truth is that there isn't a debt crisis in this country. What we have is a revenue problem. There is money and there are resources out there. It's just that only very few people and corporations have them. I've worked as a home care worker for five years and I care for my son, Brian. He's a 23 years old young man with autism. If Brian loses more hours, I will have to look for a job outside of my home, which means he'll be left alone with much less quality care. What's going to happen to Brian if something should happen to me? Who's going to take care of him? Who's going to take care of me? A lot of housekeepers that we do in this kind of job, we start working as a housekeepers and we ended up the caring people and we're not prepared for it, you know? We just start doing it because we've been working for them for a long time and, and we kind of feel like, you know, we need to help them when they need it. But at the same time, you know, we're not prepared. Sometimes we get injured ourselves. Afortunadamente, tengo un seguro médico, pero muy limitado. Que si yo sé que si me llego a enfermar, voy a caer en bancarrota. No, no voy a saber qué hacer. Entonces, ahora también creo que es una mezcla de intereses el estar hoy aquí a nivel personal, pero también como organizadora de trabajadoras domésticas. Necesitamos un cambio y necesitamos gente que nos ayude a hacer este cambio. We, I think we have a really good chance of getting a resolution passed in, in Seattle. And it's always about getting the ball rolling. And you go to those cities where you've got the bigger base of support. So we have a good base of support in Seattle for organizations that have good grassroots connections and good organizers.